How freaking sick. I am actually here right now. Let's go! This place is insane. I'm checking off a bucket list one stadium at a time. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Garrett Stadium Travel. This is stadium vlog number 17. Got the numbers mixed up. This is stadium vlog 18. Right now, I'm in Chicago, Illinois, and today I'm going to see the Chicago White Sox take on the Miami Marlins at Guaranteed Rate Field with the boys. You will meet them later. It's an afternoon game today, so we are heading over pretty soon. Going to explore some of downtown Chicago and then head off to the game. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm up here in the 500 level of guaranteed rate field and it's time for the stadium fact of the day. The stadium fact of the day today is all about the pinwheels. In 1959, White Sox owner Bill Veek came up with the decision to install an exploding scoreboard fit with fireworks and flashing lights, which at the time was revolutionary. The scoreboard was topped off with multicolored pinwheels. The idea was credited to Jim Cagney in Time of Your Life from Comiskey Park to guaranteed rate field. These pinwheels have been a South Chicago staple and don't look to be leaving anytime soon. They look great out here at Guaranteed Rate Field. Uh, we're going to explore a bit more and then grab some much needed food. Let's go.
We're out here. It is the third inning here at Guaranteed Rate Field, and it's time for Best of the Ballpark. This is a segment where I try unique or famous foods. Today we have Chicago mix, Mixed Popcorn from Garrett's Popcorn Company. Uh, of course, super unique to me because that is my name, so we're going to give it a try and give it a rating. So, gentlemen, let's do it. What do y'all think? Good? I'll give it definitely like a 9 out of 10. We're going to enjoy this game, and uh, hopefully it's a good one. It's 0-0 zero, zero right now. Ooh. Final here from Guaranteed Rate Field. The Miami Marlins ended up taking this one five to one. They had no runs until the ninth inning, but they poured it on in the ninth. Uh, this place is kind of cool. The fans were really good. Uh, gonna check out some more of Chicago, and then when we get back to the hotel, we're gonna tell you guys what I saw. Peace out for now. Hey guys, I'm back at the hotel and I'm going to tell you what I saw from Guaranteed Rate Field. First off, the atmosphere. I thought the atmosphere was average. I actually had low expectations, so the 60% capacity and the standard fan engagement was actually a pleasant surprise, so that was good. So pretty much just average. I got, I don't have too much to say. It was average, maybe just slightly above. The venue, Guaranteed Rate Field was supposed to replace Comiskey Park, and it has. It's pretty plain, though. There's nothing that really stands out. There's a couple statues, but it's pretty plain on the outside, uh, in my opinion. There's some obstructed views up in the 500 level, so be aware of that. And one thing that brings it down for me, a thousand demerit points, is the rules. And the rule is, if you have a ticket in the 500 section, which is the highest section in the stadium, you cannot explore the other parts of the ballpark. Now, as somebody that likes to explore the ballpark, if I didn't know this information, I probably would have gotten a ticket up there, not knowing that I can't go to the other levels of, a of the ballpark, and they do actually scan your ticket before you go to the 100 level again, so it's not like you're gonna be able to bypass it. I can get why they do it, but it sucks for people that might be on a tighter budget, so that's 100 demerit points. I hate to see that, absolutely hate to see it, so. That brings it down a bunch of points. Uh, next up is access. 
Chicago's transit system is actually one of the bigger ones in America. It can take you a lot of places, uh, north to Kenosha, west to Naperville. So it takes you a lot of places. It's, uh, it's big and while some of the parts are dangerous, if you plan your trip accordingly, it will more than likely be safe. And last is pricing. The pricing was pretty average. The one thing I will say is because of the low score that the venue has, I feel like the prices should reflect that. So the fact the, that the prices were average kind of shows that it's below average. Uh, parking was around 20 to $30. It really depends when you're getting there or if you prepay for parking, stuff like that. So it was pretty average. So my final rating for guaranteed rate field is a five for atmosphere, a two for venue, a seven for access and a five for pricing, bringing it to a total of 18 out of 40. I hate to say it, but this is a very below average ballpark. Uh, it doesn't really have anything that's unique to me. Uh, the 500 level rule, you know, it really, I really hate that. Like it, it just grinds my gears a lot, but it's a rare one. I don't see it at a lot of stadiums. So hopefully guaranteed rate field is the only one that does it. So yeah. That's my rating. Sorry, White Sox fans. Uh, your fans kind of showed out today, although the game didn't go the way that you guys wanted it to. But yeah, if you guys like this kind of content, stadium content, sports content, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, all that stuff. It lets me know, know that I'm doing a good job. And uh, yeah, follow along with the journey. Uh, it's been a huge summer in terms of baseball, but we are not done yet. As always, I'm checking off a bucket list, one stadium at a time. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.